As many of you may know, it's Veterans Day. Here to explain more about this holiday, here are some of our very own JSA staff who have served in the military. Well, I spent 25 years in the military. Um, my military occupation or my MOS was what they call a six-day whiskey, which was equivalent to a paramedic here on the outside. Um, most, of my, most of my duty station was out of overseas, uh, a lot of here in Conus. I spent a lot of time at Fort Sam. I spent a lot of time at Fort Campbell. Um, I had uh, two deployments uh, where I went to combat over in Iraq. Yes, um, I was in the Marine Corps. I did five years and two months. Um, I did two tours in Iraq and was stationed in um, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, stationed in California over in San Diego. Was also stationed in Al Assad, Iraq, and um, Al Takadam over in between Baghdad and Fallujah. Well, I joined the military in 1984, went to basic training. Uh, I was an engineer in the military. Uh, I was an expert in explosives, and also I built bridges. Um, stayed in the service for 24 years, um, and been quite a few places, and uh, did quite a few things while I was in the military. Yeah, I was a United States Navy radioman, third class petty officer. I was in from 1995 to 1999, and I did ship to shore communication, and I was one of the first enlisted females on a destroyer. I want everybody to know that Veteran Day is a time to give back, a time to tell those guys who, who's get the ultimate sacrifice, those guys who gave up that time, thank you. Thank you for the time that they gave up, because we live under an umbrella of freedom that these guys provided. There's a lot of guys that's homeless, that are vets. No one takes the time to sit there and say, hey, thank you for what you do. So I want the students to know that these vets, when you say thank you, that means a lot to us. I'm a veteran myself, and I really appreciate when kids come tell me, say, hey, Sergeant Jackson, thank you for your service. Um, I would guess, like, maybe just to be respectful for the ones that have gone and uh, served. Um, just think about all the ones that have, you know, given their lives for the country and the freedoms that you have today. Well, I want the students to understand and know that there's a lot of great Americans, men and women, that are fighting for their liberties to be able to do the things and have the things that they have here in America. And a lot of those soldiers have paid the ultimate price of giving up their life so we can have the freedom and the rights that we have here in America. What I want them to know about Veterans Day is, understandably, we have a lot going on in today's world, but there were people before us, and we've always tried to forget, progress and move forward and become better and better people, learning from our mistakes from behind, and Veterans Day is to pay that ownership to those who still live and um, have those experiences that they really can't explain in their words. Um, of what they went through and what those days looked like for them at that time. What does Veterans Day mean to you? That's a touchy subject. Um, Veterans Day means a lot to me. Uh, when I was coming up as a young man, um, there were gentlemen that would come to McDonald's every morning where I worked at. And these guys would talk about their time in the service. Uh, these guys came from different points of life, but the things that they talk about, the care, the love, the compassion they had for each other, the desire they had to fight for this country, the sacrifices that they made. These guys not only sacrificed time, they sacrificed family, and some of them paid the ultimate sacrifice, they sacrificed their life. Uh, Veterans Day mean to me, um, personally, it's like, I guess, uh, pride in your country, um, respect for the flag, um, and just taking care of people that can't fend for themselves. I think it's very important because we need to celebrate the men and women that volunteer to go and defend our democracy and defend our liberties and rights to be free Americans uh, because these people do it voluntarily. Uh, and they do it because they love the country uh, that they uh, are born in. So I think it's very important to celebrate those people because they're volunteering to do this. It means me thinking about not only just my colleagues that I was in with, my, my fellow um, men and women that I served with, but all those that served and didn't make it home, I'm, and I'm fortunate enough to do so. And so it's a special place in my heart and enjoy seeing everybody else wave those colors of the red, white, and blue.
Good afternoon, Jackson. I'm very thankful for the veterans that we have. My son happens to be a veteran, and I have a grandfather that's a veteran. And also, my father-in-law was a veteran. So I'm very thankful for all of our service members that have served served for our country. You Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your service, veterans. veterans. Thank you, veterans, for your service and protecting our country. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, veterans, for your service. Thank you, veterans, for the service you're giving to our country. Thank you, veterans, for protecting our country. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. What can we as students do to say thanks to all of those that have served in the military? The Anza Jetson family will share our heartfelt thoughts by writing cards and letters to our servicemen and women. When this video ends, your teacher will pass out a piece of paper so that you can create your own card or letter. All of the cards and letters will be sent to Operation Gratitude, which will then be sent to active service members. Again, we want to thank all service members that have served in our country. Happy Veterans Day, Blue Devils.